and welcome back to The Healthy Voyager. I'm Carolyn Scott Hamilton, and you're joining me in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. We love Hong Kong. That's the place for you. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. We love Hong Kong. That's the place for you. Hong Kong, southeastern China's metropolis, is a bustling city with a skyscraper-studded skyline full of chic eats, shopping, and sights. One of the best places to stay while in Hong Kong is the Fleming. Located in Wan Chai, the Fleming pays stylish homage to the star ferries that float across Victoria Harbor. Boasting handsome accommodations, as well as a top-notch restaurant, the Fleming has it all for every kind of traveler. Well, if you're looking for the best views of the city, you've got to get to the top of the peak. And the best way to do that is the tram. The historic Victoria Peak Tram is the only way to truly experience the beauty of Hong Kong. With 360 views of the city, as well as the bay from the lovely Sky Terrace, great shopping and dining, it's no wonder why the peak is Hong Kong's most popular tourist destination. Be sure to spend time in the historic gallery as well as taking a walk through the path to experience a bit of urban nature too. Just a short walk from the peak tram station, you will find Hong Kong Park. Lovely ponds, gardens, and even an aviary. It's a wonderful place to take a walk and even grab a delicious meal. Located in the park is Lok Cha Tea House, a traditional Chinese tea house with a twist. It's fully vegetarian. Serving up tasty dim sum and traditional teas, Lok Cha is a must visit when sightseeing around Hong Kong. The menu is vast and should not be missed. Boy. Looking for a little history with a side of art? Look no further than the PMQ. What was once police family living quarters is now a center for terrific art and artistic entrepreneurs. The living quarters have been transformed into shops that carry everything from cupcakes to haute couture, jewelry, and even really cool art installations. Just another reason why Hong Kong is one of the coolest cities on the planet. Take a wander around Hollywood Road as you'll be sure to find more cool shops, cafes, and great street art. Well, as you can see, I am inside of a mall, but it's not just any mall, it is the Harbor City Mall, which apparently accounts for 10% of the GDP here in Hong Kong. That's how incredible this mall is. And what also makes it as incredible is that you will find Green Common. It is a vegan eatery, deli, and market. Inside this enormous mall that overlooks the city, can't beat it. Let's try it. As you can see from this spread of food, it's literally a vegan taste of Asia. Every one of these dishes is a veganized local dish. So I've got something from Singapore, I've got something from Taiwan, I've got something from Japan, I've got something from Vietnam. So Green Common is your one-stop shop for vegan Asia. Can I just say, this purple sweet potato latte made with almond milk is heaven in a mug. Oh my God, the <laughs> oven. The most iconic view of Hong Kong is Victoria Harbor, and there is no better way to experience it than on a boat. 
the Aqualuna sails the harbor on various tours throughout the day, but their night cruise is pure magic as guests get to experience the famous Hong Kong light show from the water. While Hong Kong is a mecca for shopping, nightlife, and great dining, it also has an incredible history with great cultural things to do and see. Taking a guided walking tour of different neighborhoods is such a cool way to get to know all the varied pockets of the city, taste new foods, and learn about the city's history, its people, and how it's grown to be what it is today. The Xunwan District is a hotbed for great bars and restaurants. The super cool Koa Mezcal is teaching Hong Kong about this tasty Mexican export, while Grassroots Pantry is blowing people's minds with vegan eats. So here in the central adjacent Soho District, you will find Grassroots Pantry. It is the, I would say, premier vegan restaurant here in Hong Kong, and I'm really excited to try it. I've heard nothing but good things. So what am I waiting for? Let's go. Grassroots Pantry is hip, cool, and innovative. So I'm starting with the jackfruit nachos and this fantastic looking popcorn chicken. Delicious. High-end vegetarian plates offered in a chic greenhouse meets garage setting. It's hands down one of my favorite places. Brownie. Now it's time to leave the city center and head over to Lantau Island. Lantau Island is home to so many great city sites, such as the Big Buddha, a historic fishing village, a beautiful monastery, and even Hong Kong Disney. Nanping Village was my first stop after the fabulous glass gondola ride. So I'm standing in the circle facing the Buddha and in this, in the round, I can hear the echo. I don't know if my microphone is picking it up, but it's really, really cool. It sounds like speakers. It's insane. The village is a great place to shop and dine, but if you're looking for a unique dining experience, save your appetite and eat at the monastery. Well, if you're happening to visit the Big Buddha and the village and you get a little bit hungry, they have a vegetarian restaurant in the monastery as well as a deli and a cafe. So if you just want a light little snack, they've got that veggie deli. But if you want a full on sit down, delicious meal, vegetarian style, just pop into the monastery. The Taiyo Fishing Village is one of the most unique places in Hong Kong. From its famous stilt houses and boat tours where you just might spot a pink dolphin, it's definitely a great seaside spot that shows you yet another side of Hong Kong. If you're looking for a taste of luxury, a stay at the Langham Hong Kong will do the trick. Located in the Tsim Sha Tsui district, the Langham is home to their signature Chuan Spa, which you'll crave after a day of shopping. Thank you. 
The Langham is also home to a Michelin star restaurant called Tang. Serving traditional Chinese dishes in a fine dining setting, it's a beautiful place to enjoy a meal. And they are wonderfully accommodating to special diets too. Manmo Temple, located near Soho, is a great example of a Buddhist and Taoist temple built in the 1800s. It's a great place to stop when in the area. I've just arrived to the Upper House, which is a really beautiful hotel here in the Admiralty section of Hong Kong. And they have a really beautiful restaurant and bar that overlooks the entire city. And they offer daily gluten-free vegan menu that changes weekly. Let's go check it out. Hands down, one of the most glamorous and delicious vegan meals I've ever eaten, Cafe Grey is so much more than just a pretty view. Well, after a busy day in Hong Kong City, I'm going to Disneyland. Who doesn't love Disney? And at Disney Hong Kong, it's so accessible. Just a quick ride in on the Disney train. You're welcomed by Mickey and all of his friends. With a variety of rides and shows unique to Hong Kong Disney, it's a really fun way to spend an afternoon with family and friends. No trip is complete without a visit to Hong Kong's most famous Taoist temple, Wang Tai Sin, as it exemplifies the architecture of a traditional Chinese temple. It's an incredibly popular place of worship for those with health or financial problems, or for those seeking to have their fortunes told. Wang Tai Sin is a major tourist attraction, and whether you believe in Taoism or not, it is a beautiful locale to visit. I love taking part in the fortune telling and mysticism of it all, and I think you will too. It's the time for you to build up or the time for you to do the battle. Mm -hmm. So you think about it. That's the story. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Hi, I'm Dan Vega, and thank you for watching our channel. I want to take a second to tell you about a resource that's helping thousands of people across the country, Blue University. Blue University is the premier online business school for entrepreneurs and business leaders. You know, if you find yourself in a day-to-day -day grind where you've lost your joy or you're just tired of struggling, then check out blue.university. That's B-L-U dot university. I can promise that you receive nothing short of a multi-million dollar education. And if you want a completely different life in three to six months and a way to create wealth in five years or less, then again, check it out. That's blu.university. Find out why blue is the new color of success. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel or to give us a good rating, but that's only if you see value. And when you do receive value, make sure to share it with someone else. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.